Hello beautiful people, it's Linda Ban helping you to thrive. How are you? It is a beautiful day here in Brisbane. Um, I am out walking. You can see the city in the background, the cliffs of there. I'll just turn it around. Um, and luckily here in Australia, we do have the freedom to go for a walk. It's not like some other countries that are in complete lockdown. Though I wanted to jump on today being the 1st of April. Hello, Shiraz. Um, and just give some words of encouragement. I know that there's a lot of fear and uncertainty and panic and a lot of emotions coming up for many people and um, hi James sorry um, and so I wanted to just give some inspirational thoughts that at this time to help people to stay grounded to really feel what's coming up but also look at the big picture of what this is doing for humanity and it's a huge awakening which is really exciting and as a soul we chose to come here in these bodies at this time to witness the hi mike um to witness what's going on so as scary as it is I just want to really urge you to really look at the positives. And I know that sounds cliche and it's just words, you know, it's like, ah, oh, focus on the positive, you know. Though when you look at it from a, a bigger picture, you know, disassociate from the, oh my God, you know, what, what's happening, the world's falling apart, the economy, all these people, you know, um, the illness and uh, yes I, I get that there's a lot of sadness though for you as a soul please just trust and have faith that we will all get through this together and and we will and like I said in the beginning this too shall pass we will all get through this together and at the end we will all be different we are opening our hearts and as humanity as a whole we're all coming together and connecting and really feeling what's coming up um, emotionally to clear it clearing old patterns and programs and the the fear and the uncertainty and maybe grief and sadness or anger or rage or whatever is coming up um, for you it's a time to process this so while we're having this quiet time to really go within it's also an opportunity to really um, feel but also as a soul and looking at it from we came onto the earth at this time to witness what's going on and look what we've already gone through together you know from wars and 9-11 and the GFC and and here in Australia you know November December January we had massive fires February was floods March coronavirus you know so it makes us more resilient and we will continue to get stronger and I just urge you and encourage you to just have faith and trust that we will get through this and to stay up on your surfboard and ride that wave. I, I know I've um, used to say that in my presentations. It's like, you know, there's a lot of turbulence, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but if you can stay on your surfboard and ride the wave and just really come back to your heart and be grateful you know just focus on gratitude every day i'm i'm just so grateful for the beautiful weather that we have and um and here here's a little bit of brisbane city here at the 
the river. Um, I've just been for a walk around under the Story Bridge. Um, and I just feel so blessed and grateful. And I'm holding the space um, for anyone who's really having a rough time. Um, every day I'm doing the happy hour with Linda at 11 o'clock every day, except Tuesday, because that's my course that I'm doing. Um, and hey, Lindsay, thanks for joining. And so at 11 o'clock today, I'll be on Zoom um and i'll post a link um at the bottom for that if you'd like to join online and it's really um just yeah everyone's circumstances are different everyone's situation is different and it's really just um helping support people but also encouraging people to have faith and trust and so the the other week i had a lady on and she um was in a lot of fear because she'd lost her job and she didn't know how to pay her rent. And I just, you know, said, look, the government will do something, you know, that they, they will freeze all mortgages so the landlord, you know, won't kick you out and, you know, no one's going to be out on the street. Um, Hi, Deneen. And so, and then a few days later, it was announced that, yes, the government is freezing, you know, all mortgages. So. Um, the, the fear of being homeless is not an issue. It's like, you know, no one's going to be homeless or starving. There's so much support and it's actually bringing everyone together in the world and just opening up our hearts and having love and compassion for each other and bringing us together as a global community. So I'm um, actually this weekend, there is a global meditation, which I posted on my Facebook page. And there's a um, portal opening this weekend, the 4th of the 4th. Um, and so in Australia, it will be 12.45 on Sunday, though in the US it's Saturday night. So that's um, an opportunity to all meditate at the same time for mass consciousness, to raise the energy vibration and focus on, you know, really bringing a lot of love to the whole planet and, and you know, dissipating this whole virus so we can get through this as quick as possible. And we will restore, we will relive, you know, um, and be better beings. Um, so this is like a, a restoration period for us to really feel um, what's coming up for us. And um, hi, Scott. And and like I said, you know, we're um, opening our hearts to feel more love for each other. And when we come out, you know, it's like there'll be group hugs everywhere. And um, so I. I will post the link for my Zoom call at 11 o'clock today and anyone who wants to jump on or send a message um, if you'd like me to call you directly. I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for free as well um, and every week I've got my free meditation group so please join me for that. Um, and that will just help to release the, the fear and the worry and the doubts and, um, and, and all the emotions that's coming up. And it's really just a heart opening meditation so we can really feel into our hearts, expand our heart light energy and, and just expand that out into the world. It's um, where we all can connect energetically together. So happy Wednesday, happy 1st of April from Brisbane, Australia. And I will speak to you all soon. Until then, much love. Have a blessed day and namaste. Bye for now.